The APC is already reacting to what Sally Ulukman said. He's a former vice chairman in the northwest of the APC. Uh, he has said, um, the, in particular, uh, statement in reacting to what he said, uh, quote, history of opportunistic politicking. That's how they describe Sally Ulukman, uh, who is also a former director general of the Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, and he's been critical of the ruling party, APC. He has constantly criticized President Bola Tinubu over his handling of the country's economy and party issues, even when he was a member of the party until lately when he left. Well, he has recently uh, gotten the attention of the APC when he described the administration as worse off than the PDP's 16 years. He said, APC spent nine years, but those years has been worse compared to that of the PDP. Mr. Felix Moka, the spokesperson of the APC, has been reacting to what Mr. Lukman said, and he said he's an attention seeker and he's been sleepless in search of political relevance. I have with me tonight Mr. Lukman, uh, Salu Lukman. Thank you so much indeed for your time tonight. Thank you very much, Shiro. Do you like attention? Do you seek one? Uh, they call I, me an I attention think, I seeker. Think, well... He may have gotten it right in the sense that being an advocate is about identifying your target and seeking their attention, you know. Uh, so to that extent, yes, all of us in politics, we want attention, no doubt about it. Um, but I struggle, I must confess, to understand the, the language is maybe above my comprehension, above my under. Standing uh, you are, op you are some, involved in opportunistic politics. Some big words were used, which for me, I mean, my, my level of understanding is not so much, did not get to that level. But you use similar big words too. No, I don't in use your, I don't use several letters words. that you write. I don't use big words. I mean, I use, I, I write to communicate. But I mean, let's look at it. What do you want from this government? When you were there, you were criticizing them. Now you have left them. Why is it difficult to leave them alone? Because it's about the country. And Sheun, we've come a long way. And the truth about it, even Mr. Felix Moka, we were in the trenches together, fighting for democracy during the military. We didn't do that because we just want opportunity. We did that out of conviction, out of belief that democracy is the best way to go in terms of delivering on meeting the expectations of citizens. Now, what are the basis of my criticism? The basis of my criticism is simple. Play back uh, 2014, 2015. What have we promised as a party aspiring to defeat PDP? We promised three things. We, fr we promised to revive the economy, we promise to deal with corruption, we promise to fight insecurity. On the issue of insecurity, at that time, the critical issue was Boko Haram. It didn't degenerate to the point of banditry the way we are having it. Of course, there were cattle rustling in the Northwest and part of North Central, but it didn't graduate to the level of banditry the way it is. It didn't graduate to the level of kidnapping the way it is. So between 2015 and now, uh, from insecurity in Northeast, it has taken over, insecurity has taken over North, Northwest, and it has taken over North Central, and is spreading downwards to the South. Uh, you don't think things have gotten better since the last one year? I mean, look, look, we are in this country. I mean, let's be honest to ourselves. I don't think we will be helping President Bola Aswaju to lie to him. But I'm just asking for an honest assessment. My honest assessment I is that it has gotten worse. Really? By I mean, statistics, by, by figures of killings just, or violence? Just, or? just play back in the last one month. I wish the security agencies who release record of statistics in terms of how many people have been killed, who have been kidnapped. Today, there are more ungoverned spaces, more spaces that are insecure, unsecure. 
So you think that this government has failed woefully in the last one year in area of security? I mean, look, 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 let's not, let's not uh, dance around the issue. In the area of security, we have gotten worse. And it's almost like a free fall. And we need to really, really be honest to ourselves. In the area of the economy, for the first time, we are having a situation where about two or three budgets are being run concurrently at federal level. And what that means is that chances that corruption are on the increase are higher. I don't have the statistics, but these are some of the dangers. And even the mere fact that, for instance, inflation has gone beyond unimaginable levels. Our income has crashed. Even the mere fact that income of citizens have crashed is enough basis of insecurity itself. Today, uh, it's, not, it's not any, any propaganda that can cover that. The truth is that people are looking for food to eat, including people who are ideally income earning people. They are not unemployed people. Largely because, I mean, how much is a bag of rice now? How much is a bag of corn? So, you know, in, so, in all your security, in every aspect, you don't think we are doing well at all? We are not. I, and that's we are why, not. I mean, and I, it, say, yeah. I say that advisedly, and I say that in the hope that before you hear how many times have I appeared in the last one year, and I keep making the point that my hope is that President Aswaju will recover his democratic and progressive credential and begin to do the right thing. You had said that he has a capacity based on his... his, his I have uh, said that. Yeah, that but he, increasingly, he's shown it in Lagos State. But you think that that capacity... At is national level, is not... Is, is not, he a master of it? I mean, you don't I think have, that, so you that, asked that personality me, is, is... At one point, you asked me a pointed question. If I have opportunity to advise him, what will I advise? And I went straight to the point about the team of people he has around him. So you don't think that he has the right person He around. doesn't have the right people well, Why around. is it difficult? A lot of people seem to be saying this. I, I don't but know. The president seems to still Clearly. have the people Clearly. that people condemn. I have said it several times, even here before you, that the Aswaju that rule Lagos is not the Aswaju that is ruling Nigeria today. And that's why you're asking for a new beginning. Of course, I mean, at, at this point, because I have lost hope after being an advocate, appealing, thinking that he will recover himself, at this point we have to begin, and that is the beauty of democracy, which I reflected in the writing which uh, my friend Felix Moka is responding to. The beauty of democracy is that it gives us an op it gives citizens an opportunity. If government fails them, they should change it through election. And in the next less than three years from now, we are going to have election. But part of the issue, which for me, we are confronting now as activists, as political activists, is the fact that we don't have any viable political party. At the moment. At the moment. It's not just a question of, yes, Felix Moka is right that both the Labour Party and the PDP have issues. But that they have issues does not mean people who are members of these parties cannot come together and begin to respond to the challenge and do the needful before 2020. So you think we do not have opposition? And in your own thinking, it's also that the, part, the, the ruling party or the government is not doing right by Niger I mean, for Look, Nigerians. The truth is that there is no party, including the ruling party. Well, last, you are here. Well, last has APC met. Go and read their constitution. They were supposed to hold a neck meeting. They postponed it after the, the neck meeting is supposed to take place every three months. The last time by my, by public record, the last time they had a neck meeting was August 4th. 
I mean, there are those who say, oh, the reasons are because of the, uh, the commitment of the president to foreign And that is, that is part of the danger before The president this has been in China. That is part of... No, 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 no. Very soon, that, is part of, the that is part of the danger which we have to confront as a nation. A situation where the president is over and above a pol the party that produced him then it's dangerous. Is that not what the case has been, at least in the, in, the, in the Fourth Republic? Which is what, as APC, I was a founding member of APC. Our promise in 2015 was that we are going to change all that. And we felt anybody who is not ready to admit that, it means is not ready to really move Nigerian democracy forward. You know, you know, yeah. you, know, you, know, you, know you, you know what some, some of the members of your party are saying? That, that your very good friend Nasser Rufai uh, is left or is not a, as evidently a member of the P, uh, APC right now than those who believe that he's uh, left the APC and because of your closeness with him that that's the reason why you, see, you are doing all your things. Is, 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 is it the sentiment you see, you see, you see about what is, the political you misgivings see, look, look, that look. is causing this? It's so interesting. It's very convenient when people choose and uh, play up all these things. I was also close to President Aswaju. I was before APC. We were not in the same party with Nasru Rufai. And when we came in the same party with Nasru Rufai, we are from Kaduna State. I fought him. It's on record. I disagreed with him. The issue is straightforward. People who want to reduce the matter to issue of blackmail, who you relate with and who you don't relate with, they can indulge themselves with that. But the fundamental challenge before us as a nation is that we need a democracy that is responsive. And being responsive is about producing leaders who will comply with the rule of their own party. You know, the reason why I ask that question you know. is that sometimes you also need to hear from those who are being bashed. I mean, this in the bashing and uh, the fact that they think that there are Which motives. Is why, just the moment that there are motives in some of the criticism coming from uh, some certain part of the country. Take for example, there are those who think that why in the early days of this administration the government is not being given the opportunity to thrive. In fact, there are those who are drawing ethnic and sectional or regional uh, politics into it that uh, when people from other parts of the country who are in power, they are not being able they give them the time. Why is this government being criticized? Is it because of the affiliation or where the, the head of the government is, is from? And that those who think, the question that I ask you, who are thinking in the APC is that Salih Ulukman is aggrieved because his friend Nasir al and their camp have been ostracized from the party. And now there are talks that, in fact, there, are, there is a, a storm brewing gradually, and some of you are forming a new political force uh, to fight the APC in 2027, that this is all a scheme for 2027. Is can, that I, right? can I respond to Please that? Ahead, it's sir. not right at all, and I can tell you, if anything, President Aswaju is a beneficiary of our committed support to building this democracy. Because when some group of people within the APC around former President Buhari, we are pushing for a so-called consensus candidate. And it was supposed to come from the north, where we come from, which as what you didn't come from, we were in the forefront. In fact, Felix Moka, when we were in the National Working Committee, when the name of Ahmed Lowell was dropped as the consensus candidate, Felix Moka didn't join us to fight that. Because at that point, it was convenient, his own masters, just like uh, it's, been, I'm, it's been alleged now that I have some masters. Look, let's face it straight. If today, President Aswaju recover himself, I, yeah, I have said it in this studio, if he recover himself and start doing the right thing, I'm ready to make public apology and queue behind him. But so long as you continue on this route, I mean, people are dying. 
It's hardship in the land. That is hardship in the land. So, and that's why and for some of us, we believe if, that if, let's talk about the no, issues no, no, wait, and how to move wait, this country wait, forward. Right? That, and that the is the point. Of it. The, part of the issue is that we must produce a party that subordinates all elected officials. A situation where all our parties only produce elected officials who become emperors and, and some overlords, over citizens, must be corrected. Here on this studio, I think it was with you, who read the point about Second Republic. How, for instance, you go to a meeting of a political party, the president mm -hmm. will be sitting yeah. in the audience. In the audience. It's only when the leader of the party and the now, chairman comes in when the are, meeting starts. For goodness sake, part of my fight, when I thought, and this is the point why I feel agitated when people begin to reduce this to sectional issue. When I fought Ablai Adamu, at the national chairman, I'd play, for goodness sake, is from the north. If I want to play that ethnic card, I'll just keep quiet. Maybe I will have still been in the National Working Committee. And maybe all the privileges, and there are privileges. I made that conscious choice. Partly because I didn't come from the background whereby my mission in politics is about survival. I believe as a person, I can survive without holding political position. Now, let's come back to the integrity issues, uh, Mr. Shewo. If we elect leaders based on promises they made, what is the main promise of President Aswaju? Renewed hope. The details are there content. You read it. Out of it, let President, and I'm ready to engage anybody, including President Aswaju or anybody, let them produce evidences of delivery based on that document of renewal. Nothing has been delivered. Yeah, if you remember, the first criticism I raised was an open letter where I talk about uh, disturbing signals and I itemized them. For goodness sake, for a, 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 a monocultural economy like Nigeria, depending on oil, which has become the live wire, you remove subsidy without any plan in terms of how to guarantee local production, which is the crisis we are facing. And in that open letter, I made the point to say that, look, why couldn't you time the whole question of withdrawal of subsidy to the point when you can guarantee local production. At that time, they were promising that by December 2023, Nigeria refinery, Potako refinery, Kaduna refinery will start producing. What month are we in today? September 2024. Nine months after, these refineries have not So all the promises are failed. Have failed. failed. But, and, but what, one of the things that angered the APC and why Felix Moka is particularly very, very angry with you, in, and you can feel it in the, in the spirit of his writing, is if how dare you compare 16 years of PDP why to not? The 9 years why of not? APC? Why not? And are you saying Look, that the 16 Mr. years Shou, of That's Mr. what angered him. Mr. Shaw, we are Nigerians. If it angered him, he should go and engage President Aswaju and every... Uh, person in government to respond more, much more positively. It's not about throwing those tantrum and putting words that uh, have no meaning. Let's look at solutions now. Going forward, you asked in your in, in the concluding part of your of uh, of your of your document that they, we need a new beginning, and you said time is of the essence. You are asking for public Look, negotiation and you think that it should commence now. Is that the way to go? Definitely. Because we need at the minimum, if APC as a political party is not functioning, PDP as a party is not functioning, Labour Party as a party is not functioning, all the parties are not functioning, at the minimum, we must produce a party that is functional and at the same time, which is what I highlighted in that writing. It's not just about defeating Aswaju and APC. It's about producing a responsive government, one that elected representative will be subordinated to the party. Uh, 
So if not, the fear is that there might be we'll, a, wave, we'll a storm we'll that will remove the party at the end of the day. Is that I, what you fear? There will definitely be a storm because, look, this country cannot continue like this. What I know is that something will have to give. Whether right. that act of giving will produce something deliberate that will correct all the mess we have around mm. is what I'm pushing. All right. Mr. Salihu Lukman, a former vice chair of uh, uh, the APC, thank you so much indeed for your time tonight and always for your activism. <laughs> thank you so and much. And I indeed. guarantee you, I am confident the same way we were able to get military out of power, mm -hmm. we are going to correct the current mess. We are going to get to a situation where we have a functional political party, an APC, and President Aswaju will be defeated in 2027 and will produce leaders that will be servant to citizens, mm. not leaders who are emperors. It's not a threat. It's not a threat. All right. Thank it's you so much indeed. That's our program tonight, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm sure Kimalwe. God bless Nigeria.